Hallowed be your name on earth as in heaven. Kia tapu to ingoa, ki runga ki te whenua, ki a rite anō ki tō te rangi. Always be joyful, pray continually, give thanks whatever happens. Good morning and welcome to morning prayer on Monday. I hope you've had a wonderful weekend. On this day, the church remembers Maximilian Kolb, a Franciscan priest whose commitment to truth took him to Auschwitz, where he voluntarily sacrificed his life. He was born in 1894, before the German invasion of Poland in 1939. He had become a leading Catholic publisher and head of a Franciscan house. He was sent to Auschwitz for publishing material critical of the Third Reich. When in August 1941, ten prisoners were condemned to be starved to death in reprisal for a single escape, Kolb offered to take the place of a family man who lived to attend Kolb's canonization in 1982. Our sentence for today from Lamentations 3. I called on your name, O Lord, from the depths of the pit. You came near when I called on you. You said, do not fear. Our collect for today. Ever loving God, your gift to us is life eternal through your son's willing sacrifice of himself. May the example of Maximilian Kolb strengthen us to spend ourselves in your service and bear the burdens of others, even to death, for the sake of Jesus Christ our Saviour. Amen. Hear Jesus' words. When you do a kindness, hide from your left hand what your right hand is doing. Your good deed must be secret. When you pray, pray privately alone. When you fast, don't make a show of it. Don't do it to be seen. And your father who sees in secret will reward you. Would any of you who are parents Give your child a wetter when asked for a fish. Bad as you are, you know what to give your children. How much more will the Heavenly Father give to those who ask? Believe what Jesus says. God is generous. God is good. Itifano, let us love one another, because love is from God. We love because God loved us first, and everyone who loves is a child of God and knows God. If we do not love the people we have seen, it cannot be that we love God, whom we have not seen. God is love. Those who dwell in love are dwelling in God, and God in them. Our reading appointed for today is taken from John chapter 15, beginning at verse 9. As the Father has loved me, so have I loved you. Now remain in my love. If you keep my commands, you will remain in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commands and remain in his love. I have told you this so that my joy may be in you and that your joy may be complete. My command is this, love each other as I have loved you. Greater love has no one than this, to lay down one's life for one's friends. You are my friends if you do what I command. Let's come now to a time of intercession where we pray to our Heavenly Father for his church and for the world. We give thanks for God's goodness to us this new week. 
Almighty God, we give you thanks for the blessing of this new day. We ask you to pour into us the encouragement and boldness of your Holy Spirit, that we may follow the example of your Son, Jesus. We pray for Christians throughout the world as they meet with you at the start of a new week. And we pray particularly for all those who are persecuted for their faith in you. We thank you for the example set by Maximilian Kolb, who laid down his life in order that others may gain their freedom. And we pray that you would show us today how we may take up our cross and follow Jesus in his footsteps. We give thanks for the work of Open Doors and other organisations that support the persecuted church. And we pray for our cathedral, for our bishop, all those who minister and serve in the name of Christ in this diocese. May your Holy Spirit guide and strengthen us in mission and service to you and to our local community. Help us to walk more closely with you this week. God of love, hear our prayer. We pray for all those nations which are torn apart by conflict, a lack of resources or natural disaster and we ask for your strength and guidance for the leaders of the nations and the many aid organisations as they seek to help people in need. In a moment of silence, we name before you now, Lord, a country or a situation that needs your justice and mercy. We pray for the peace of the world for heads of state and rulers, that they may have wisdom to know and courage to act upon what is right and good. God of love, hear our prayer. We pray for those most in need today, the sick in body, mind or spirit. And we pray too for those who are easily forgotten, those who have lost their livelihood or their home, those whose plans and hopes for the future have been cruelly dashed. We thank you, Lord Jesus, that you bring life and healing and so we commend to your gentle hands those who are sick. Be present to them through the support of their friends and Fano, And bless the work of our doctors and nurses. We pray particularly for our emergency services today. And ask for courage, equipping and your sustaining grace for them in their task. And in the quiet, let's bring before God someone who has asked for our prayers or someone known personally to us that needs God's help today. God of love, hear our prayer. We pray for those who mourn and grieve, who have lost loved ones either recently or at this time of year. Comfort them in their sorrow. We thank you that you receive at the end of their journey all those who have turned to you. And so we pray for your eternal presence and the light of your love and glory to rest 
on all those who have departed this life in the faith of Christ. Jesus, as you gave your life so that others should live, Maximilian, your follower, took a fellow prisoner's place to save him for his family. So we praise and glorify you for this selfless act. Help us to follow you more closely and to love you in word and action today. Our Father, hallowed be your name on earth as in heaven. Et omato matue, kia tapu tu ingua, ki runga ki te whenua, ki arite ano ki tō te rangi. Holy One, holy and eternal, awesome, exciting and delightful in your holiness. Make us pure in heart to see you. Make us merciful to receive your kindness and to share our love with all your human family. Then will your name be hallowed on earth as in heaven. God of work and rest and pleasure, grant that what we do this week may be for us an offering rather than a burden. And for those we serve, may it be the help they need. Amen. Thank you for joining me for morning prayer. Have a wonderful day ahead.